Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the market. It's currently 4.18 p.m., April 29th, 2021. Thursday, the low conviction, no confidence in the market continues. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. Yes, make sure you like it, smash it, just hit the button, it takes a second. Anyway, here we are, SPY. Opening up at 419 ish, for actually 420. Should always say the 420, and it closed at 420. How about that? So, pretty much another crazy no action day. However, there were some trades to be had, just the conviction wasn't there for me, and I played it tight. I've been told to play it tight. I actually didn't get yelled at today. I probably took one trade I probably shouldn't have taken, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I wasn't trading really that heavy on it. And, you know, I'm trying to make money in this market. I see people losing a lot of money, and I see people making a lot of money. So I still see the mix. It doesn't matter what the conditions are. There's still people making money, and there's still people losing money. It's just the way the market rolls. Um, Amazon goes nuts. Uh, blew out earnings today. I did not take it. I thought about taking the after hours play on the earnings call. Everyone knew that their earnings were going to be a phenomenal um, just based on the year we've had. Everyone knew they were just going to blow out. I, I don't see this holding. I don't know. I don't know if it holds. Uh, wrapped up 180 points in no time. I was going to take one share, maybe two shares um, at the close of today. Um, on this move here would have been like 300 bucks or something like that on those two shares, but that's what that's what you can expect. But I remember it can go the opposite way. I'm seeing in some people getting hit pretty hard, or they're actually doing pretty well. So you have both ways on that. But for me, trading today, uh, I don't know. I I, I got into some VXRT. OSTK was my mistake of the day. I lo I really liked it today. I thought today was going to be the day it made its move. So on a two-minute chart, let me go to this one because it's kind of important. Um, we saw this candle pull back, and I was looking through the 182 move. Got in a little bit early on this candle. It looks like it went all the way up, but actually flushed down. And then I got out for a small loss. I should say small loss. I was in for 300 shares. Took 66 bucks a loss. OSTK is a whippy trader, tough trader. And then seconds later, man, seconds later, rips up to 85 without a blink. I'm talking like that would have been the trade of the 2021 for me. 300 shares to 85 from 82. Three, you know, three points in no time. Um, just and then it kept ripping. I mean, they just kept ripping up and went to 88, and then obviously it pulled back. But it's those trades that are really with a low conviction. I had to get out because it didn't, it went against me, and it just sucked, uh, to have that. You know, that's the toxicity of the, the, of the trade working that you get out of. Uh, I protected myself from a further loss potential, but guess what? It didn't go further down, it just ripped back up. So, Boeing was a mix of a few plays, one news, one this, one that. Um, TCAT, I tried pumping it through 35 here, and it whipped me down, and, and then guess what? It goes up to 41, just a brutal stock. I hate that stock. Uh, that's another one to add. I did well on Facebook, actually, a Facebook trade that worked out for me end of the day here to the 330 level actually pulled back on me but it did rip up and i got a few points on that peloton was a news play i shorted peloton roku was pretty nice as well early in the morning uh during this price action i took the secondary move up through 372 and got a little bit on that but that's so spready that's really hard to get some um, sales off in a clean manner um, PayPal was the one I might get questioned on. Um, it was pulling down, a lot of volume coming down, the overall markets were pulling down, and then news came out on PayPal saying, I don't know, some kind of crypto news. It seemed pretty old, but it was go it was rotating through this the signals, and I bought at 63 and it went to 263, 53, so it went 10 cents against me, and I pulled up and I only bought a hundred shares. 
and you can see here as it was climbing up had i just held those 100 shares to you know went to 268 pretty much from that entry um should just walked away from that one you know hindsight always wins hindsight always wins so overall 114 on the day i mean i'll take a green day today this week just need to get through this week a lot of those earnings plays you know like what's what amazon's doing at right now it's kind of flatlining a little bit but doing okay and i'm just gonna keep my head above water the best i can um trading small keeps you out of the damage uh, even if you lose a trade i was never i was down 60 bucks because i was down this is my first trade of the day and then i turned it around and my high was 160 i believe i uh, gave a little bit back on that tcat trade and um actually i took a secondary move on something else i forgot what it was that brought me down as well so uh, i don't know we'll see what happens going forward Hopefully we can get some better price action because right now this is brutal. The news flow sucks. I feel like everything's delayed. There was de I watched. I watched as a news play came out. The front running going on before that news came out was insane. Like Boeing, uh, I watched this like candle go like this, and then it was like Boeing a little bit more. So definitely. I believe like through CNBC and stuff like that, there's people getting information from there ahead of time, just based on what I'm seeing. There's no, it's not possible for them to know that this person's gonna call this unless they know ahead of time. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. I'll be back tomorrow to close up the week. Uh, close up April, April, last day of April's tomorrow, so that's pretty wacky. Here we go. Getting into May, hopefully warmer weather and all that good stuff. Have a good night.